everyone. I'm backstage at WWE The World, and with me right now is Gabriel Iglesias Fluffy. That's Gabriel. right. That's right, Mr. 2K. That's that's what's going on right now. Uh, <laughs> I've been attached to this controller for the last half hour. Yeah, I can imagine. Yeah, right? no, I'm, I'm getting ready. I'm getting ready. Yeah, yeah. I don't, I don't want to look bad. No, you're you're gonna kill it, man. But Gabriel, I need to tell you something before this interview begins. I was there. Oh, really? I, I think I know where, I, I think you know what I'm talking Roger about. Stadium. Yes, Roger I knew it. Stadium, yes. You said that if anybody was there, if they ever saw you, to come up to you and say, I was there. I know exactly what you Congratulations, mean. I, I edited that out of the Netflix version. So only people that were there that night know. Yes. So, oh, awesome, yes. thank you. You saw, you, saw, you saw how long that went. I'm still paying for that fine. <laughs> I heard, man, how much was it? It was over 100. Over a hundred thousand dollar fine. Yeah. It was worth it. I'm the reason they were able to afford uh, freaking Otani. <laughs> you paid for his whole okay. contract. Yeah, yeah. That fine. That fine did it. Oh man. Well, Gabriel, I just want to first of all say that that was an incredible night. So much freaking laughs. Everybody was really funny in that. So I just want to say thank you first and foremost. Thank you. Yeah. So let's go ahead and get into it. I broke you away from 2K24 for like a second. How are you doing, man? How's the game going? Who are you playing as? Uh, so far, I've been beaten up as Eddie Guerrero. I've been beaten up as Scott Steiner, and I've been beaten up as The Miz. So I'm, I'm really, I, I'm, I'm consistent. I'm yeah. consistent. I'm consistently yeah. getting beat up, so it doesn't matter who you play if you don't know how to play. Yeah, that's true. So, Gabriel, you know, this is WrestleMania week, and you have been a longtime fan. You've been part of a lot of stuff with WWE. Tell me. Given the way that we've been heading into WrestleMania 40 with The Rock, with Cody, with Roman, CM Punk, I mean, just everything happening. As a fan, how have you felt leading up to WrestleMania 40? As a fan, I've been feeling like this is long overdue and it's, it's fun to be this excited about wrestling again. I've been coming to WrestleMania now since 2012. And uh, let me tell you, I have not been this excited uh, in a long time. And, and I'm really looking forward to it. Plus, it's two nights. Yeah, I was going to say, it's a whole lot for sure. Now, you know, you get to see everybody. You're friends with a lot of the wrestlers. Is there anybody you haven't met just yet? I haven't met the great one yet. And I don't know if that's just a, an accident because we have a lot of, we run in a lot of uh, circles, you know, small circles. You know what I mean? So I haven't met him yet, but uh, we'll see what happens. I think there's a good chance. I'm probably within, a, you know, 30 yards of him right now. <laughs> Uh, so there's a good chance, but he's got a lot of people around him, and I don't know that I could take them all. I could take one, maybe two, but that's that's the extent of it. It was funny because I was going to ask you if you met The Rock, but I was like, I'm pretty sure he has. You would think. I know Kevin Hart very well. I know Ice Cube. I know a bunch of people that have actually worked with, with, with uh, Dwayne, but I've never had the opportunity. Now, one of my favorite things about you, Gabriel, is how great you are at your uh, impressions. The, the, the voices that you're able to make. So would it be okay if I put you on the spot? right now and just like hit us with your best impression hell maybe if you want to start with the rock whoever i uh, no, i would never try to impersonate the rock because he might hear me and and i don't want to meet him that way uh but one of my favorites uh my favorite wrestler of all time and i, and I hope he's not here to hear this uh i mean the rock uh, stone cold stone cold steve austin and if stone cold was here he'd tell you right now that the bottom line is he doesn't care if you're the final boss the first boss or the boss lady you're gonna go down and that's the bottom line because stone cold said so i would throw the mic but you're attached to it <laughs> <laughs> let's do it screw it screw it gabriel i gotta tell you man it was so awesome to chat with you you're my favorite comedian i gotta tell you, you. my favorite skit of yours ever your bit whatever you want to call not just it saying that because joe coy's not here right no no no, no okay. you're my favorite okay, man okay. my favorite one that you ever did and whenever i'm having a bad day i make sure to watch this one because no matter how many times i've seen it i laugh my ass off the one where you go to saudi arabia Always a good time over there. And actually, I, I'm, I'm very proud to say, I, I, before WWE went there, I went there. I, uh, I went there a long time ago before they had, uh, yeah, never mind. I'll stop, I'll stop while I'm good. It kills me every time, because I'm also Mexican, so it kills me every time you go, Hi, uh, am I Mexican anyway? <laughs> It kills me every time. Yeah, I can't help but want to give a shout out. Come the tia. <laughs> Martin. <laughs> Orale. Awesome. All right, Gabriel. I've took you. I've kept you long enough from the game. Thank you so much to everybody watching. Thank you, Gabriel, and we'll catch you guys on the next one.